Welcome back to Akron Summit's franchise. We are 2-1 to start this young season. A little surprised if I'm being honest. I mean, I thought we'd actually be off to a little bit worse of a start. Uh, but we may be hitting a potential roadblock today as we take on the 2-1 Cleveland Browns. Browns very good in Madden. Maybe not so much in real life to start out the season, but here in Madden with the roster when healthy, they're always a tough opponent to stack up against. So we're going to have our work cut out for us today. But today we got some players ready to negotiate. We got to see how we stack up against this Cleveland Browns roster. We got to see if we could potentially make it to three and one on the season. We got a lot to get into today. Cue the intro, man. And as expected, when the Browns have a healthy Nick Chubb, which they do in this game, in this season, because I did turn pre-existing injuries off, they are fourth in the league in rushing yards, and they don't allow a lot of rushing yards either, and they don't allow a lot of passing yards. Now, coincidentally, we are the second best team in pass yards per game, and we typically do a good job of stopping the run, only allowing 75 per game, putting us at fourth, but that could all very well change today with Nick Chubb. Now getting a look at the standings, we actually are holding our own here, surprisingly, in the AFC West, tied with the Chargers and the Chiefs. And if the playoffs started here in week uh, four, first of all, that would suck. That would be a, just a terrible NFL season. But second of all, we would actually be a wild card team. Now still a whole lot of season left to go. But aside from the Broncos, the AFC West looks pretty stacked indeed. And then getting a look at some of the stats around the league, believe it or not, Garner Minshew is actually second in the league in passing yards. Now, I quiver to think where he's at with interceptions. He's probably up there as well. And then you see Nick Chubb there for the Browns. He is second in the league in rushing yards so far at 248. And then also we got Miles Garrett third in the league uh, with sacks at five. So probably going to make Blitz Counter our main focus against the Browns today. We got 25 players ready to negotiate and probably not going to bring a lot of these guys back. Ironically, uh, except for maybe Isaiah Palomao, most of these guys don't want to be back as well. Aww. I mean, there could be some death pieces there, but the two main guys, maybe Madison, we'll see how he performs. He has started to look pretty decent for us, but really Merrig and Nate Hobbs. Those are the two guys that I'm looking at right now, and they both do not want to be here. Trayvon Merrick wants to be in a warm weather state, and he wants no income tax. So welcome to Ohio, my friend, where it's cold, and Uncle Sam has his iron fist around us. Can't change that. We could change our scheme fit, I suppose, uh, but the main thing is the warm weather state and the income tax. So we'll kind of revisit that one. Also want to bring back Nate Hobbs. He also doesn't want to be in a warm weather state, but he wants to have a mentor at the cornerback position. We do not have one right now, but that should be an easy fix. I mean, we could honestly just go to free agents and bring in somebody right now. I'm sure that there is a mentor. Ooh, Kareem Hunt too. Wow. Um, okay. Noted mental note there. If Madison starts to not play so good, we got a star development uh, running back sitting here in free agency, but yeah, I'm sure. Okay, Jason Barrett is a mentor, and also Bradley Roby is a mentor. You know what? I'll bring in Bradley Roby. He's an Ohio State Buckeye. We are here, the Akron Summits. Uh, I'm from Ohio. It seems like a great fit. So having Bradley Roby on will probably, that may even be able to get us to lock in Nate Hobbs right now. I mean, it should, right? That was, that was one of his main driving forces, and no, it didn't. Uh... Maybe we got to go ahead and put Bradley Roby in the depth chart and see if that does anything. Mm -hmm. It didn't. I don't know. We'll check it. Maybe it has to take a week to, to reset. So we'll, you know, it's still very early. I just kind of wanted to see who was there, who wanted to resign and not a whole lot to really be thinking about. Most of those guys probably won't come back, but taking on the Browns again today. And it is probably going to be, you would think again, defending the deep run would or defending the run would be the way to go, but I do not like that in Madden at all. I'm not a fan of that. I think we're going to defend the short pass. It does not look like Deshaun Watson really gets the ball downfield that well, uh, which I would say is pretty accurate 
in real life too. He's kind of becoming a glorified dink and dunk passer, at least so far, but definitely blitz counter, you know, with uh, Miles Garrett and Zadarius Smith and all those guys. And for the weekly game plan, show me an interception. I feel like we're going to need some turnovers here. Just let me allow less than 30 points. That's really all I care about. 350 plus offensive yards. And as always, 15 plus first downs, usually the easiest thing to do to get some free staff points. Yeah, the more that I think about it, Kareem Hunt sitting in free agency, that could be fun. I mean, Madison is, was never going to be a long-term answer for us. And, you know, in fairness, neither would Kareem Hunt. But Zamir White does nothing for us. He never plays. Maybe Kareem Hunt as a RB number one and Madison as a RB number two could spice things up a bit. Not 100% sure. We'll see how the running attack goes these next couple of weeks. But I would say, you know, if Madison has subpar games these next couple weeks, that could be the move. And I actually wouldn't hate that. Summits and Browns going down to Rubber City Stadium in Akron, Ohio. Got our work cut out for us today, boys. So if you guys are fired up for some more Akron Summits franchise content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Right now, as we stand, I need 20 more subscribers to hit 1,000. So, so gosh darn close. So please tell your grandma, your neighbor, your aunt, your uncle, your third cousin on your mom's side, and your dog and cat to please subscribe. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will do an NFL jersey giveaway for you guys. So very excited. And without further ado, let's get on down to Rubber City Stadium and get ready for the game. The rain is pouring here in Akron, Ohio, as it tends to do rain and snow. Weather is always extremely bipolar here in Ohio. And boy, oh boy, this Brown roster, they are stacked. But it all comes down to this guy right here, which is the big question mark in real life, Deshaun Watson. He is not having a great season to start here. One touchdown to four picks and not even really a lot of yards to show for it either. Kind of similar to real life, if I'm being perfectly honest. He hasn't really had a great season to start. And hopefully we can... Limit him and also, of course, limit Nick Chubb as well. Chubb is probably going to be the main weapon. Divine Diablo able to stop the chief there, David Njoku, who is day-to-day uh, -day right now in real life, hoping that he can get healthy. He's such a big part of this team. Makes a nice catch there. Brown's got a fullback in here, so we're going to use her up on Robert Spillane. Probably going to be, oh, it's not even a Nick Chubb Ooh. run. It is just an Amari Cooper catch on the slant jack jones is able to hawk him down that could have been a one play touchdown jack jones stayed with him step for step allowed the catch but you know one broken tackle and there is nobody back there to help cooper so i would say we really kind of dodged a bullet on that one play good man coverage here guys maybe we can get somebody in the backfield oh we did it was butler and somehow somehow watson got that off i don't know we had a big 69 coming out watson which i'm sure he would just be all four, you know, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how in the heck he got that pass off. He most certainly did. Now he's coming out pistol here. We're going to use her up on Divine Diablo. It's Chubb and we're able to stop Chubb. He gets very close to the first down yardage. Now, part of me wants to just guess run up the middle. I'm not going to do it. We're going to use her up on Spillane though. Spillane was the man and somehow Nick Chubb barely got that. I could challenge it, I suppose, but I'm sure he got it. It was close at any rate. So nice job there by Nick Chubb. He is, of course, going to have to be somebody that we have eyes on this entire game. Uh, I think we're actually going to go pressure here. And maybe Max Crosby will have him just kind of drop out a bit. And we're there to stuff Chubb. We're only getting two. That was Divine Diablo. So good run defense by the Summits. Second and eight. We'll switch to zone here. I feel good about zone. Maybe Christian Wilkins or Butler or somebody can get to Watson. No, it's going to be Amari Cooper again, who has two big catches in this game. Again, it's Jack Jones to bring him down. But the Browns are driving here. They got the ball into the green zone, as some would call it, into 23-yard line. And uh, we got Max Crosby playing a little bit of drop back coverage here, which don't hate in this situation. Oh, come on. Jack Jones, man, thought he had a chance at a pick instead. Six-yard completion by Watson and these Browns. We're going to go zone again here. Got to watch the run from Chubb. Ball is on the 17-yard line. It is going to be Chubb, Chubb on the give. And he is brought down there by Spillane, but not before the damage was done. Browns got the ball inside the 10-yard line, so not a good place for our defense to be. Not a whole lot of hope when the opposing team gets the ball 
ball this deep into your own territory. So we're going to need like a, you know, a sack, a pick, something. Maybe Robert Spillane can get back here and time this right. Hallelujah. Couldn't time it right, but, ooh, Max Crosby certainly timed it right as he was able to drop Chubb for about a loss of three. We'll go safety blitz here. It's a bit risky, but Watson is empty. So if somebody can just get back to him there, we weren't able to, but that's the benefits of being uh, in a goal to go situation from like the 11 yard line. There's not a whole heck of a lot you can do. And I mean, I think in this situation, man coverage is probably the best thing to do. We're going to use her up on Spillane. See what Nick Chubb does. Not really worried about him as the primary receiver. Oh, Divine Diablo. I don't know what that was. He poked the ball up there. He was intended for David Njoku. But regardless, we're going to limit the Browns to three, which is always a big win. So kudos to the defense. Ben, but don't break. We did let them get, you know, this far down into the field. We did not give up the touchdown. And now we get to see Garner Minshew and the Summit's offense. Here comes Minshew Mania. Hoping for some Minshew Mania today. Hoping for a nice, clean game. We are playing here in the rain. As you see, the six touchdowns to the five picks. Got to clean that up a little bit. But hey, at least it's not as bad as uh, Deshaun Watson that we just saw, right? And really, the guy who uh kind of focusing on on this episode is the guy who, well, <laughs> never mind. There's Amir. I was going to say Alexander Madison, but there's Amir Abdullah. And draw play to him. He's played pretty well for us, so that's a pretty good opening run. Gain of four. But I was going to say with Kareem Hunt there sitting in free agency, that is... Very, very intriguing to me, having Kareem Hunt there in free agency. He would be fun guy to play with. I mean, he you know he really would. And also, what would be really fun is if I see that safety cheat down and maybe... Uh, no, we're not going to do it. Trying to step up with Minshew was too late. Dalvin Tomlinson going to get the sack. That's going to be third and 14. Third and 14, perfect time for a TE attack here. And, uh, ooh, no, somebody. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, Zach Gentry. <laughs> I mean, that is not his game at all. But, boy, did he give it the good old college try. I was looking for Najoku, as I always look for that X receiver there on the TE attack. But that would have been disastrous, throwing the ball to him. And I'm telling you, man, if that's uh, what, Michael Mayer or Brock Bowers out there, maybe that ball is a completion. But it's not. It's Zach Gentry. I mean, you can't be expecting Zach Gentry to moss people. But he gave it a heck of an effort. All right, so it's good defense again. Watson coming out tight single back. So got to be cognizant of the Nick Chubb run. It's an end around to Cooper. And we are right there to drill him with Robert Spillane. Max Crosby. Was also in the vicinity as well. So I think that it was going to be a lose-lose situation for the Browns. And uh, we read that thing pretty beautifully, if I do say so myself. Now, probable passing situation here for Watson and these Browns. Let's have Tyree Wilson drop back. And it's going to be a check down to Njoku. Tackle battle. We're there to clean it up. And that will make it third and six. I'm going pressure. Might not be the best thing in the world, but I hope that it is. And hey. Marcus Epps with good defense on Elijah Moore. So there you have it. Summit's defense showing up to play today. Now our offense just can't be letting them down. They're giving us opportunities. They're, you know, allowing, allowing us to get back on the field pretty quickly. So just can't let these defenders down. Got to march down here and find some points. And I mean, all in all, 3 nothing. How can you really be mad at that? We were able to endure, you know, Pretty bad offensive drive there with the sacks and <laughs> the Zach Gentry Moss attempt, which I'm sure a lot of people haven't said that. So all in all, it's good, def you know, good, uh, good opening quarter here. And maybe we can get uh, Alexander Madison going here. He wants a contract. He wants to be our halfback number one. Time to earn that. Gain it two. Not really going to do that. Okay, well, if the ground game's not working, maybe we can get Madison going on a little screen pass here, right? Let's see. Need some good blockers. The blockers are there, and Madison trying to juke somebody there. Wasn't really able to do that to Grant Delpit, but still a good first down. And if nothing else, we're picking up some first downs here. We're moving the chains. I like to see that. like to see that a lot. Coach really wants me to run it. So I guess we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, ooh, see, they're testing me again, man. They're testing me with Devontae Adams there. They really want me to do it. Uh, 
It all depends on what, I believe that's JOK, what he does there. We're going to Adams. Bang! Second catch of the game for Adams. Gardner Minshew thread the needle beautifully on that one. And it's a big chunk play for number 17. Coach is saying PA cross out of the I form. I do like that. However, we got to be cognizant. You know, I may. Uh, I know we're going to have heavy pressure there. I see the linebacker uh, kind of cheating up there. And this could be Devontae Adams on press again. Come on, just give Adams a chance. Wow. Lucky that wasn't picked off by Greg Newsom. Should have high pointed that ball in hindsight. But lucky that it wasn't a turnover. Nothing else. We are in field goal range. Question mark. I don't know if we're in my field goal range. That's the problem. So it's single high. Maybe uh, Adams just take the safe completion there. Make it a little bit easier for the field goal attempt. Zach Gentry going to catch that one. And it's a 46 yarder. I'm not the best at kicks, admittedly. So I got to be quiet right now. That one should be good, though. Okay, very good. Daniel Carlson. Wow, there wasn't a lot of power on that one. Yeah, I was so much better at kicks in Madden 24. That one does sneak through, though. And if nothing else, we do tie the score up 3-3. Three to three. So not the, you know, offensive touchdown that we were looking for, but at least we don't leave points on the board. It's a brand new ball game here. Our defense is playing good here in the rain. And hopefully that can continue. Watson coming out here, uh, shotgun. I don't like that cloud flat out there on Amari Cooper. I'm going to have Tyree Wilson. Wow. Oh, that was almost a pick by our lineman. That was almost a pick by Christian Wilkins. The ball, that's got to be the rain kind of playing a factor. That ball kind of just pinballed out there. And I, th I thought Christian Wilkins, the big man, was going to come down with it. He did not. So, any. <laughs> That would have been something, wouldn't it? Divine Diablo. Ah, it's Amari Cooper. Nice play by the Browns. Cooper now with his third catch for 55 yards. Watson and the Browns almost into our territory here, so got to be careful. Max Crosby, please, I want you to get... Oh, thought we had it there for a moment. One of these days, Max Crosby's going to get home, man. He's had some, some TFLs and some good plays, but really, you know, we want Max to be a game record. That is what Max Crosby is known for. He is known for wrecking games. So far, hasn't been a game wrecker for us. I know it's coming here. It's just a matter of time. And I know Nick Chubb is coming too. That's what she said. Nice pickup of three. And Browns do move the chains. I'll tell you what. When the Browns offensive line is intact, I'm talking Jedrick Wills. I'm talking Jack Conklin. I'm talking Joel Batonio. I'm talking Wyatt Teller. When all those guys are there playing together, it is arguably the best offensive line in the game. The problem is that just never happens. They're never all playing together. They're never all healthy. And rarely do we get to see that. Deshaun Watson will be the first to tell you that as he has been under duress all season. But when the Browns offensive line is healthy as they are in this game here in Madden, boy, oh boy, few can stack up against that. And uh, empty backfield now for Watson really needs some pressure to get back here. I mean, we got to, got to get somebody to Watson. We almost did. Give me a pick. It is a pick. It's Epps. I don't want you to take it out, Epps. <laughs> no, what? Ah. Good play. Not taking anything away from that, but like, why? You can, it, it is impossible for you to just like have a defender go down when they catch it in the end zone. It's honestly actually pretty crazy. And now we just don't want to take a safety. Like, that would be absolutely terrible. I think we should have a pretty decent hole here on the left with Madison. But we got to pick up some blocks. We do. And Madison actually gives us no breathing room. Nice. RPO, not the worst thing in the world here. And I actually don't even mind, really, if Trey Tucker, I was going to say, yeah, I'm not even opposed to running this. So I'm kind of kind of glad that Trey Tucker, we didn't look his way. He was actually open. But a third and two here, I'm thinking screen pass is probably the best thing to call. Coach isn't drawing it up, so you know what? I don't care. I'm going with it. I don't like to call my own plays too much, but every now and again, you just got to do it. So come on, Madison. I need you. Oh, God. He couldn't get off the block. He was stuck on his block. And this, and this is what I'm saying, man. That pick from Marcus Epps, yes, that was, that was awesome. Love it. Love to see it. But the fact that he just wouldn't go down in the end zone, 
we were hamstrung at the goal line. Like, what do you really call? Oh, Bradley Roby, I was about to level, level Jerome Ford. But, yeah, I mean, when you get the ball to start at your two or three, like, you're hamstrung. I mean, the playbook shrinks down sub substantially. And had he just gone down, we get to start it from the 20. Like, that could have been a whole different drive. It is what it is. It didn't work out. But, yeah, that's something That's something they got to fix, too. And I know if you guys play Madden, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You pick the ball off in the end zone. Like, you could be literally mashing, like, the, the stick down to go backwards. Your receiver, defender, he will not go down in the end zone. <laughs> end of the first half is approaching here. We're you stirring up with Divine Diablo, and that is going to be Elijah Moore, who's been busy today. Watson now at 106, but does have that pick. So I believe now he is up to, uh, what, 1 and 5 touchdown interception ratio. Only thing is we just haven't been able to, to pay, it, pay it off with points except for that field goal. We have not been able to score any, you know, offensive touchdowns. Ooh, thought that was going to be a pick there as well from us. Was not. Could have been Trayvon Merrick. Instead, it is second and ten. I'll say this rain, right? This rain must be getting to Watson and the boys because he's having a, a tough time out there. I mean, that's a good one to Elijah Moore. Moore actually breaks a tackle and they say it's a first down. That's annoying. Thought we, I mean, he was right there on the sideline. Should have been able to push him out, but unfortunately... We were not, and the Browns do pick up and convert, and uh, pretty much, I would say, they are in field goal range here, so got to hold them to that. It's been the, the battle of field goals to start here in Ajoku. Don't know how he caught that. Don't know how Divine Diablo didn't make a play on the ball, but alas, that didn't happen. Ball's on the 20. I think that we uh, probably flipped a man here. Zone just ain't working. I mean, it is kind of, but, you know, not really. Oh, that's a touchdown for Najoku. He dives for no reason. Okay, so the first touchdown of the game is scored by Watson and the Browns here late in the second quarter. We do have 32 seconds left, all three timeouts. I mean, we get the ball back too after halftime, so I'm not going to do anything wild. I don't want to throw a pick, but we'll start out something like maybe screen, something like that, see what happens, and or maybe like a TE attack. That's probably a good thing to do. Just kind of see what happens in 30 seconds and you know maybe we can at least get into field goal range that would be awesome if we could amir abdullah gonna go out of bounds and this drive will start from the 23 oh man adams is getting pressed too it's single high safety oh god he won instantly come on baby come on oh had to jump for it if he could have caught that thing in stride that may have been six it was a good play nonetheless but Minshew just put a little bit too much mustard on it, I would say. Adams uh, wasn't able to catch it cleanly. Still a good play, but man, oh man, what you know, what could have been. Harrison Bryant, I need you to block. Uh, really, I mean, Trey Tucker could be uh, the first read. That's where we're going with the football. Trey catches it. Going to be forced to burn another timeout. Got 17 seconds to go. Man, this Adams press is unreal, dude. We're going to it again. They wanted me to go play action. And, I mean, it's, you know, got to be Devontae Adams instantly on the press. We're going to give him a chance. I mean, that's a 50-50 ball. Ooh, Devontae almost came down with that thing, if I'm being perfectly honest. That was close. And if they want to continue, you know, to press Adams like that, hey, so be it. We're going to go verticals again, and again, it's Devontae Adams' press. I mean, why would I not look that way, right? Actually, Harrison Bryant, you might as well just go streak into that side of the field just to give us a little bit more time. I mean, we're going, Adams. He gets paid a lot of money for a reason. Oh, he caught it. Oh, my God. Wow. The fruits of having a superstar X-Factor player on your team like that i mean it was a good ball by Minshew, but look at that dropped it in the bucket baby i mean wow they want me to kick a field goal why why would i do that it's why stick time now look i'll be the first to admit i'm calling a lot of my own plays today but i don't care i mean the coach is calling some dumb ones here this isn't even guaranteed but we're definitely gonna try adam's why stick bang might as well be guaranteed so how about that? We knocked the scoreboard up at 10. I can't even believe that Adams caught that, man. He is having a great game. 
We're going to go into the locker room tied unless I uh, stupidly miss this extra point. We get the ball back, too, after halftime. So, you know, we're really uh, in a good situation here. Daniel Carlson boots it through. We got tens on the ball game, ladies and gents. Good half. Low scoring, but just how I like it. A lot of these games in the Summits franchise have been low scoring. Not the same in my SFL series. Boy, oh boy. If you guys, I don't know if you guys watch that series. It's awesome. It's exciting. But man, those are like 40 plus point games. It's absolutely crazy. This is a good game for us too, because someone's going to lose this game. Probably the Chargers. And if assuming we can hold on and win this game, we could jump up and be tied for first place in our division. So that is one that's very important. Patrick Mahomes is killing it. And we're going to go into the locker room here, kind of reevaluate things. I mean, I'm still going to keep it at blitz counter because that seemed to work pretty well. Not going to touch the run. Um, honestly, I'm just going to keep uh, defend the short pass. I know Watson did a good job carving us up. I want to see him do it again. He also had a pick. He also has been under a little bit of pressure. Um, I don't want him to start feeling comfortable just doing quick, safe, underneath checkdowns here. Ooh, Trey Tucker, decent return. And we're going to start this drive from the 32. All right, new half of football here. I see Devontae Adams has his X Factor on, which is nice. We're going to start out on the ground, though. Need to get this ground game going. That's a good start. It's a good start from Madison, gaining seven. Minshew did play good, but, you know, Gardner Minshew, not really the, uh, the guy that you want to be putting in hero ball type of situations and he's not really gonna ever put the team on his back so to speak and you know will you to victory he could I mean he's shown flashes of that but I want to put Minshew in good you know situations where he's not forced to do too much so far Madison doing a pretty good job of that on this drive test the outside here this time with Madison gonna be running behind Mercedes Lewis our fullback and wow he just did an absolute terrible job a blocking as uh, Mike Hall, the rookie out of Ohio State, was able to get us in the backfield for a loss of two. And this is kind of where you have to have to go into passing mode here. But screen pass, not the worst thing in the world. Coach is suggesting it as well. Um, Devontae Adams, I got to make sure we're still targeting him, though, so he doesn't lose that X factor. And Madison with some pretty decent blocking. Still going, pushing the pile forward. And third and two, e you know, not an easy convertible situation, but definitely the uh, desired type of situation that you want to be in here. I don't really like these play calls, though, if I'm being honest. So I think maybe Madison up the gut. That just that just might be the move. Uh, don't want to run it, though, towards Miles Garrett. So we're going to keep it to the right side here and just give me some blocking. Madison going to get it. He's running with purpose, running with power. Most importantly, keeping our drive going. Here's where we open it up with play action. Coach is calling it to PA cross. Got to make sure. But, you know, they're doing it again, man. They just really want uh, Adams on these, these press situations here. So maybe we'll streak Harrison Bryant. I know I'm running out of time. We're going to put Zach Gentry on a drag. And this is more than likely going to be Adams again. Adams catches it. And oh, my God. He is having the game of not his career, right? Not his career, the game of this season. And for whatever reason, I know the Browns got good corners, man, but like they just keep pressing Adams. And it's like, eventually you would think that you would, you would learn. Maybe you shouldn't do that. And especially now that Adams has his X factor on, like you really can't do that. I mean, they want to keep doing it fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send Mercedes Lewis in motion here. Madison going to run behind him, hopefully trying to bob and weave his way through traffic. He's picked up by Mo Hurst and pile drove into the turf. Seven yards to go into the promised land. We got to pick this up, man, please. And that's a fumble. Wait, what? No, that is uh, extremely unfortunate. God, man, that wasn't an incomplete pass. Are we serious? Are, are we serious right now? Minshew drop it back to pass and uh, it's most definitely a fumble there by none other than Miles Garrett. Yeah, he does that. That is what he does. And boy, oh boy, that was our chance. And we blew it. We blew it, guys. We blew our chance. Game far from over, but that was just one like 
We were going to go up on the scoreboard. We had tons of momentum. And just it's all in the Browns' favor now. Madden wants me to go in all these prevents and stuff like that. Don't necessarily want to do that. Um, Nick Chubb to Watson's right here. So we'll use her up on Divine Diablo and just have him play center field. It's Najoku for about his 20th catch, but he does not get the first down. And that will make it third and in inches. I mean, we're going heavy pressure here, guys. Like, that's really all I can think to do. Um, it's going to be Chubb on the give. And did he get it? Oh, he got it by a short and a curly, man. That is unfortunate. I thought we had Chubb there. DeCamry and Richardson did get him, but... You know, when, when you're third in inches and you got arguably one of the best running backs in the league there next to uh, center, not a lot you can do but hope and pray and get the Vaseline. And there's Elijah Moore getting tackled there by Spillane for a gain of four. Third and five. They're coming out single back. We're going to have to just go safety blitz here. And if it's a run to Nick Chubb, make him earn it. It is not going to be a run to Nick Chubb, but the pressure was on in Watson's face. It was Nate Hobbs, and we're going to force the Browns to punt. So we crisis averted after that fumble. Uh, we get a chance to go back in here and clean up those mistakes and hopefully take the lead. And I am very impressed with this defense, I got to say. Abdullah probably shouldn't be doing all that juking and jiving back there because it is raining, and we already saw one fumble. Don't want to see another one. I mean, are they really pressing Devontae Adams again? with single high safety like they are and that probably was not the best yeah okay all right that was good defense by greg newsom but still they're still showing me that look and it's like it's only a matter of time until adams cooks somebody he didn't cook somebody on that one but he's been cooking all game george foreman style so i'm not really sure if i'm the browns i may not be doing that nice catch there by trey tucker first time we called his name he's a big part of this offense and he's able to move the chains, fresh set of downs. And I mean, again, they're doing it. Like, how do I, you tell me how I don't entertain, at least entertain doing this, right? Like, we are at least going to entertain the press situation. I mean, that's that's got to be money. That's got to be money. Adams with a rare drop. Are you kidding me? Got to blame that on the rain. Got to chalk that one up to the rain, right? That's the only thing it could possibly be. Because Adams hasn't been dropping catches at all. And that was one, I mean, that... Don't know if it would have been uh, a house call, per se, but it would have been something. Jacoby Myers turning up field, making a nice uh, first down grab there. Minshew at 200 and a touchdown, and that is going to take us to the end of three. Still 10-10, a low-scoring game in this rain. I'm here for it. I would much rather have it be a low-scoring defensive slugfest than a shootout because, man, oh, man, God only knows, playing the SFL series, I am sick and tired of shootouts but gotta score some points here this is our opportunity to do that coach really wants me to keep it on the ground as well and i i probably will um I'm not gonna run it towards miles garrett we'll run it instead to the darius smith side jackson powers johnson getting up to the second level on his block picking up a nice gain of five i mean madison nothing crazy this game right like He's not, you know, going to wow you with any breakaway carries or anything like that. But he's doing just enough to uh, to be relevant and to make a difference in this game. And, you know, until they show me they can stop it, we're going to go to him again here. This time on the draw, Madison finding the blockers, picking up a first down. We got this ball just past midfield. Adams up the seam. This, I mean could be my first read again we got zach gentry um it is and look at adams wow that was a dangerous pass as a matter of fact but Devontae adams seven catches for 165 yards i mean like this is his game man welcome Devontae adams Devontae adams has arrived and right now we got the browns exactly where we want them we just have to uh, play smart football you know maybe rpo i like that i do like that because if trey tucker if I don't like the uh, coverage over there, Madison's starting to run pretty good. We'll go to Trey. Uh, probably not the right thing to do as we're drilled there by Martin Emerson for a loss of one. Time for a little PA shot off of crossers. Need the blockers to hold, though, please. And right there is Jacoby Myers. Thank you. Man, I swear, dude, if we beat the Browns here... Game not over, but you just love what you've seen from the squad so far. And I need to go. I am going to run it, but I need to go something like uh, inside zone. I don't have 
anything inside zone favorites. They want me to do uh, these power runs and stuff, which is, you know, power runs are good. But right here, yeah, this is what I want. Not a counter. We'll do inside zone from the gun. I kind of like this defense here. I mean, they do got uh, extra defensive linemen. So maybe Madison can get through. He will. Madison finds pay dirt. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and do whatever, whatever that is. Uh, when you score, you know, you could do any type of celebration that you want. And it was a good drive finished off there by Madison on the ground. And we got uh, six minutes to go here. Defense playing great. Don't stop that now. Keep the pressure on Watson and these boys. And most importantly, don't let Nick Chubb get going. What will Watson do? It's been a tough day for him. You know, he's had uh, some flashes of good drives, right? But for the most part, our defense has held its own. Uh, but now you figure he's probably going to be in passing mode, although maybe not. I mean, I could definitely see him going Nick Chubb's way, which he, in fact, will. Nice cut there by Nick Chubb. Nick going to pick up five. Max Crosby was there on the stop. Here we go with this dumb prevent defense, lo defense logic that Madden always wants to do. It's like whenever you're down by score late, you know, later-ish in the fourth quarter. Wow, Najoku. Thought he was going to break away and score there. He did not. But yeah, whenever, like, Madden just like, oh, uh, you're down by a score? Five minutes left? Prevent. Let's go prevent. Bring a dime, prevent. You know, quarters, defense, yeah. You don't need to do that. Now Watson going single back here, so eyes on Chubb all the way. They are right on the Akron, Ohio logo. It's Najoku again, but that time only for a gain of two. I mean, Nate Hobbs stops him, but, like, I'm curious to know how many catches David Najoku has. He has to have a ton. He's been like their number one receiver. Uh, Cooper has had some, some good catches and also Nick Chubb randomly out of the backfield as well. But it's been mainly the Chief. And don't get me wrong, Najoku's a great player and all, but like there he is again. We're just going to have to use her somebody, I think, on Najoku. Yeah, 10 catches for 105 yards. Rivaled, though, by Devontae Adams' performance. But still a good performance in his own right. Yeah, where is number 85? There he is. I need, I'm just going to always have somebody watching Njoku. So it'll be Tyree Wilson this time. This time it's Nick Chubb, though. And arm tackle by DeCamrian Richardson. He has nine tackles, does the rookie. So nice performance there by the first year man out of Mississippi State. Bounce keeping it interesting here. They just uh, refuse to go away, um, which I don't like. I'm not a fan of that. And it's going to be Chubb again up the middle. Yeah, he's starting to get going. We're there to get him from Divine Diablo. But even if they score, you know, there's going to be plenty of time for us. I don't. Yeah, dude. No, I'm not I'm not going prevent from the 10 yard line. Like, what are we talking about here? I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't know why Madden wants me to do that. I'm not going to do that. But there will still be time for us regardless of what happens here. Can we get to Watson? Watson is actually, oh, my God. Nobody can make a dive. Nobody can dive to Watson. I mean, he, he can still do that. He's still doing that in Cleveland in real life. He's still running, you know, doing stuff with his legs. I mean, but that's Max Crosby, too. You can't dive, Max. You can't make a shoestring tackle or at least, I mean, Max is a high effort guy. Like at least, at least make an effort. Maybe uh, DeCamrian Richardson can get a block here. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. But we got two minutes to get down here, get in field goal range, not turn the ball over. Let's freaking get it done. Start things off screen game here. Just want to make sure you know if we uh, if we don't score, we at least don't leave the Browns with too much time. And that's gonna be a good start from Madison Minshew at 255, one touchdown. But the key thing is, though, no interceptions, which I love to see. I mean, Coach really is <laughs> saying screen pass again. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Let's do mesh spot here. I feel good about that. Uh, no more deep bombs to Adams. I mean, unless we're in a very favorable situation. Pretty much going to be underneath stuff and seeing who can get open. Jacoby Myers, who's having a pretty good day himself. And I am in no rush to snap this ball yet. I do got Adams impressed, but unless, like, I'm probably going to Bryant. Unless that safety just super, super cheats down. Yeah, we'll go to Harrison Bryant. He, oh, catches it and actually outruns a defender. And, I mean, we're very close to field goal range. Not there yet, so still work to be done. But I am feeling pretty good about this here. I mean, still got to finish the game, but... 
right now we got the Browns where we want them. And this is probably going to be Devontae Adams underneath. Oh, yeah, baby. His big day continues. Adams catches it in stride. And now we just need to run this clock down, kick a field goal. Minshew over 300. And we got a chance to beat one of the better rosters here in Madden. Uh, I'm actually kind of beside myself. Ball carrier needs to go to conservative. Right now, we just want Cleveland to use all their timeouts. Unfortunately, we did get out of bounds on that one, but should force them to use one right here, or maybe Madison just scores even. I mean, I would probably take that. Browns call a timeout. We got the ball on the three-yard line. Madison up the gut out of the strong formation. He's going to score. So uh, maybe a little too quick on that one, especially with the Browns, you know, having two timeouts. But I don't ever trust myself with field goals, okay? Even extra points like this. Like, I don't care how close I am to it. I will never trust myself with a field goal, especially if they ice me. So that was, I think, the right decision. You never pass up on points and just got to make sure the Browns don't do anything crazy downfield. They have two timeouts. If they want to go underneath and stuff like that, totally okay with that. So we should, I mean, how about Jerome Ford doesn't get a kick return touchdown? That would be nice. 33 seconds to hang on and get out of Rubber City Stadium with the victory. He now is where I'm totally fine with the prevent, but when they try to call it like, you know, with five minutes and stuff, I don't necessarily agree with that. And Divine Diablo, game ceiling interception. Deshaun Watson now has what, six on the season? Uh, seven even maybe? I don't know. But wow, what a, yeah, the defense celebrates. It was the defense and it was Devontae Adams. I mean, those were uh, literally the game changers of this game. The defense and Devontae Adams. And we are going to be three and one on the season. How about them apples with a team that's not even really that great? I'm here for it. 24-17. Look at it. Coach Smalls getting fired up. The real CJ Smalls is fired up too. And I hope that you guys are fired up. Deshaun Watson is not fired up. Neither is Miles Garrett. And I am pleasantly surprised. I, this is not how I thought this game was going to go. If I'm being perfectly honest, I thought that if anything, it was going to be close and we lose. Or maybe the Browns would just rout us. And I'll tell you what, that was, that was like the only bad play right there. The game was that fumble. But what I did not expect is our defense to play the way that they did. It was great. And Minshew, 19 for 25, 304 yards. About half of that or more was to Devontae Adams. One touchdown only, but no picks. And then Watson, he went one for two. So there you have it. We were able to contain Nick Chubb. I mean, really, Madison, I mean, it was pretty. Uh, the two touchdowns, he outperformed Nick Chubb, most definitely. He sure did. And here is the man of the hour, Devontae Adams. Eight for 190 and a touchdown. David Njoku played great, too. But that is just exactly what you expect from your best player, arguably, right? DeCamrian Richardson, nice job with the 11 tackles. And uh, we had some TFLs, or at least one. We had uh, uh, Christian Wilkins, Max Crosby, Robert Spillane. We also had no sacks. Could have swore we had a sack. But we had two big picks, Marcus Epps and Divine Diablo. So, wow, we improved to three and one. Was not expecting that. I'm definitely happy about that. So far, this Akron Summits team is playing great. We now move up to 3-1 and one on the season now. KC, presumably, maybe LA if they came back, but one of those teams is going to also be 3-1 and one tied with us. And then we take on the worst team in the AFC West and tied for the worst team in the whole entire AFC, the Denver Broncos. And we should be close to getting... I believe one of our two injured Titans back, uh, Brock Bowers. So next week he'll be gone, but then he will be back the week after that in Pittsburgh. Michael Mayer's still gone for a while, but uh, getting Brock Bowers back would be absolutely huge. And it will only add to this uh, pretty good streak that the Akron Summits are on. So that is going to do it for me tonight, guys. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I will catch you on the next one. Until then, peace.